Yo, what's up guys? And the Deep Book developers actually made a quick update to the game that quite literally changes everything, okay? A lot of people were complaining about the new legendary weapon for specifically being green and how it doesn't fit Deep Book game because why is it green? Why is it green? You have a green sword, but red monsters, right? Well, they actually made it so the new legendary weapon works with Azure Flames and also Twisted Puppets. And there's actually a special and like hidden technique that they actually added uh, if you have Azure Flames and the new legendary weapon and also the same thing if you have twisted puppets and the new legendary weapon they added a little secret because not only does it make it blue for reserve flames and black for twisted puppets it also does something else right so it really does change everything about the new legendary weapon because if i were to cast like burning servants it actually matches my weapon now so it does make the weapon look a lot better even though the weapon looked sick uh prior even as green all right guys uh what i want to do is before i showcase uh the special ability of the Zur version of the new legendary weapon. I want to show you guys the Twisted Puppets version first. Because I think the Twisted Puppets version is just so cool, bro. And uh, I want to edge you guys a little bit before I show you guys um, the blue variant. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to this guy real quick. Because th those paths are like exclusive. So I'm going to show you guys both of them. And then you guys can pick uh, which one you want, you know. So let's just get rid of Azur Flames right here. And hopefully we get Twisted Puppets here. Oh, we didn't. Okay. I'm going to just cut to when I do. But look, our weapon is back to green. They're no more green. And uh, let me just roll for Twisted Puppets real quick. Let's give her a blood letter. And boom. We got Twisted Puppets. Let's burn these talents and let's just get this. And now our weapon should turn black on a dequip, right? Boom. Bro, it looks low key. Bro, it doesn't look like anything. It just looks like Vanta Black. Imagine if I had like all black character. I was like Ganymede with like uh, dyed freshy rags to black with black hair with like the black version of this it looks sick but so before i show you guys how stupidly strong twisted puppets version is and azure version is of the new legendary weapon one thing i have to say is that when you do the critical the criticals aren't really recolored they need to fix that to be honest because right now it's still green as like the original color like if i go up here and do the wwe champion thing it's all just green right so they need to recolor that but let me just showcase to you guys why this actually changes everything for the new legendary weapon because this makes the new legendary weapon so much more powerful like genuinely let's just let me just go ahead and find some real quick so i can actually showcase this to you guys but before i showcase the crazy abilities of this new synergy let's hear a word from today's sponsor hello fresh that's right this video is sponsored by hello fresh how a deep booking youtuber got a hello fresh sponsor one of the best meal kit delivery services out there today is crazy and i don't know how i did it you guys don't know hello fresh is the most popular meal kit delivery services out there that delivers you pre-portioned ingredients right to your doorstep with healthy foods without you having to do any of the shopping yourself and is ready to cook like i don't have to go out to the store and find everything i need for a healthy meal because hellofresh makes it as easy as being delivered to your doorstep literally best part is when you order hellofresh you'll unlock free dessert for life it'll be in every box as long as your subscription is active so ditch the meal planning blues and dive into hellofresh biggest menu yet with 45 plus recipes and even more items that supports your lifestyle so turn to hellofresh lineup of quick and easy meals including 20 minute recipes that are designed to minimize stress and maximize time spent savoring supper i've been using hellofresh for a while and it has really helped me a lot so i'm super excited i was sponsored by a company i actually use daily so click the link in the description or use my code and get 16 free meals plus dessert for life while subscription is active and thanks to hellofresh for sponsoring the video all right i think how i'm gonna showcase it guys is let me just get the chime conflict thing real quick so blah 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 there we go we got chime conflict and okay basically what i want to show you guys is on every single hit not only do we proc green flames we also proc clones on every single hit with black fire it's some crazy stuff oh wait i don't have the talent yet i need the moth to the flame talents let me get that real quick because right now if i hit him it only procs come back here i'm not trying to attack you well i'm just trying to attack you for the video but you don't really know that because you don't know what I'm, I'm saying right now but just come here oh my god bro boom yeah right now it's just gonna proc on black flames on top of on top of the green flames not really the puppet so let me get the moth to the flames town so it actually procs it right dude it's crazy that's procking two fire at the same time okay we're back in fort merit let me just get the moths to the flame talent because right now i only have the talent where my, only my mandras like but yeah my only my mantras proc uh like the puppets so i want my m1s to actually proc it too because then we're gonna be doing green flame damage plus black flame damage plus puppet damage so let me just go inside this real quick and let me defeat the guard there we go rest in peace bro all right let's reroll the talent hopefully you get moth to the flames here so let's give her a termite please moth to the flames we did not okay let me just get this let me try again Oh, moth to a flame. Perfect. 
that's actually what we wanted. So now, let me just uh, go to a random NPC so I can actually show you guys. There's an NPC right here. Let me just hit him once. Okay, there we go. Boom, there's a puppet, like I said. So every M1 procs two flame damages, green flame, black flames, and also a puppet. So let me actually show you guys how strong this actually is in Chime Conflict, right? All right, guys, we have a match on Chime. And keep in mind, guys, that this, this tech with a, uh, or this like big change with Twisted Puppet's new legend weapon does not even compare to how it is with Azure Flames. Like right now I'm really like, like when I, when I say I'm edging you guys, I really mean it. Cause look, it spawned a puppet, but this is not even as crazy as Zerf Flames. I'm gonna show both cause it literally worked with both, but it is so, what happening to me? Guys, on every single hit, I'm procking three status effects, green flames, puppets like that puppet literally just hit her right there it's it sh that shouldn't even be possible bro like i you know i see what they mean when they say who tests this who tests these legendary weapons because i'm not gonna lie procking three status effects the green the black and the puppets it's just unfair let me okay no puppet spawn there because uh no like puppet got like there, there wasn't no black planes but there we go where's my little puppet it should be coming soon Sometimes it just doesn't decide to actually come, but here, let's just do Dark dark uh, Blade into Radiant Dawn, and I'm super excited to show you guys the tech, like, the, the secret mechanic with the Zerv Flames version of this weapon, because it is, if you think this is strong, just wait. Like, look, our little puppet is coming in right now. She has to defend against me and the puppet. I mean... Bro, that puppet just put her on fire too. And look how fast she got executed. It is genuinely crazy, okay? I think I'm gonna do just one more chime match and then I'm gonna showcase the Zerv version of this weapon. Because man, <laughs> the Zerv version of this weapon is just insane. It does too much damage. Even if you think this does a lot of damage right now. We have another Silent Heart with Deferred. So let me just hit it off with a critical into the Dark Blade. The puppet actually hits him, so, and he's still on fire too, because of Mirage clones, I guess. So, uh, okay, he has all the gods, doesn't really matter, we only have blows on our shadow gun. Hit him with the uppercut, and he's about to get hit by this puppet here. We parry his, his, uh, his vent. Spam our critical one more time. Wait, bro, he, like, teleported behind me. What in the world? Alright, anyways, I want to hit him with the shadow gun, so let's do this into Radiant Kick. Oh, he's, oh, he parrying now. No, at the first he was selling, but I think bro got into the groove now. We spawn our puppet, it hits him! Like, <laughs> bro, puppets plus flames plus green flames, every single M1. You guys can just only imagine the amount of damage he's taking right now. Just look at this gameplay and tell me this would make you quit the game, okay? Be so for real with me right now, boys, okay? Oh, let's dodge that. Okay, I want to do the down slam version of the critical that missed. So I guess we'll hit him with the shadow gun into the rising rating kick into the flame assault. And this boy is about to be cooked. Let's put him in the puppet. There we go. Like this just counters Silent Heart so badly because if they use Monty Cotty, they just get hit by the puppets. And boom. Oh my god. <laughs> GG. All right, guys. I'm not going to lie. Those chime matches was some of the easiest in my life with this legendary weapon doing crazy amounts of damage with this secret tech. Now, let's go ahead and see the secret tech with Azure Flames now. So, let's go ahead and get Azure Flames on this build. All right, guys, uh, we got Azure Flames again. So, let's just pick it right here. Azure Flames, boom. And now, when we re equip our weapon, it's going to turn a blue. Blue. Okay, there we go. And now, let me go into Chime and show you guys why Azure Flames on this a new Legendary Weapon is so special, right? You know, what could be so special about blue new Legendary Weapon? And not only does it just look sick, right? Well, just just watch, guys. This guy is a Fist user, but he has no idea what's about to come. Okay, let's just hit him with this. Boom! Guys, if you guys haven't noticed yet, his he is getting procced by not one... Not two, okay? Three status effects right now. The green flame, okay? The slowness of the green flames. And finally, since uh, since blue flames 
does more burn damage. It is just increasing the green flame burn damage as well. Which, by the way, guys, the, the green flame burn damage does significantly more than any other, um, you know, burn. Because it's green flames. It's just more powerful, right? So, it is making a very powerful green flame do go from like 7 damage to tick to over probably 9. Which is like a really big increase actually. So let's just hit him with this. And this boy is getting cooked. Okay. Bah! Also he does hella damage. I'm not going to lie. Why am I getting dealt so much damage? But boom. And look how fast this boy got knocked. Oh my god. He has the Phoenix Resurrection thing. Not when I was yapping bruh. That is crazy. He has the Phoenix Res. But boys. This boy got cooked so fast and it's literally because of the stacks and how glitched this is um with the paths right so let's just use shadow gun here finish him off he literally just got resurrected but he should be knocked very soon i mean yeah there we go we're not gonna make the same mistake twice let's just grip him here and uh yeah guys it's it's genuinely crazy so yeah the more you guys know i hope you guys subscribe and make sure you guys use hellos fresh and use my code Thank you for sponsoring and bye bye guys.